So we got a bunch of parts for the 240. We're gonna try to finish that car up today. You know, we are here in the game room right now. If you guys play Fortnite, hit me up. It's also finished up the uh, coffee table chair combo. Um, but we got a bunch of parts. We're waiting on the seats. We're waiting on the carpet, all that stuff. But this video is basically gonna be getting all that stuff in, all that stuff situated. The car's not gonna be completely done right now. We're still trying to get some other shit and I wanna take my time finishing this thing up because we've already done a lot to it. But other than that, stay tuned and enjoy the video. So we got his new spark plugs, coils, and wire set in. We're gonna throw that shit in. Um, I also got the AFR gauge in as well as his oil pressure temp. We 3D printed um, a little gauge pod that we're gonna remove this and put it in right there. So we can put his boost gauge right there. Carpet should be coming today. So we're gonna throw that in. Uh, intake stuff came in. We're gonna try to finish up everything we can. I believe his seats might even be coming in today. So now everything is installed. We even got his little carbon fibre intake on. All right, and for anyone trying to talk shit on the math being so close, it's actually not close. So if you see the uh, inlet on the turbo right there, it goes to the J-pipe, because it's not a J-pipe delete. So it's about over a foot long. So it is perfectly fine being right there. So again, come over here, disarm the system, press one, two, fuel pump. No, that's ECU, I'm sorry. ECU power and fuel pump on now, okay. Press the brake. Woo! Look at that idle now. That's how Jay-Z needs to sound. Look at this. cap a couple vacuum lines and we're good to go no more misfire at least i had a spare steering column cover um he didn't have one but the only thing is i don't have the teardrop right here so i usually put the start button right there and i don't want like gaps on it so derek is going to be 3d printing a teardrop to go directly into that spot so he can put the start button right there so that's the it's gonna be really cool now we got the uh, oil pressure gauge hooked up we got the start button in place now just waiting on the carpet then we can tuck the receiver and then that's pretty much it what we have been waiting for has arrived we got his seats now got his carpet we already got his rails and sliders all that fun stuff so now we got to take out the center console and all that fun shit but then we get to lay down the carpet put the seats in and the car is damn near almost complete so let's go ahead and unbox all this we're putting in the carpet just so everybody knows even if you buy the expensive carpet kit it is not plug and play you still have to cut everything out all the holes for the buckles all the holes for the seats all the holes for the footrest you have to slice some of the carpet out for the inside of the dash so it slides past the bars just a bunch of shit um but progress 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 wow seats are in carpet is in this thing looks so nice very very happy um we just have to finish putting up the trim right here and that's pretty much it but everything works now too i plugged in the equalizer so it'll power up and go to everything um oh, i just wish we had more clips for the interior pieces because we would be able to like perfect everything even more but for now this will do and uh don't mind the two random bolts on the steering wheel this was just so we can have it on there without having to turn it with a vice grip but yeah carpet is in everything is Nice and clean. Very difficult to cut all the holes for the seat rails in the correct spots. This kit, I gotta say, I like the quality of the carpet, but the way they send it is really bad because sometimes like it's even too short right here. I'm gonna be able to make this work. But over there, we didn't even cut that side and I had to like tuck it really hard and utilize the plastic trim to hold it in place. But still, he didn't have a lot of the hardware for the plastic trim. And uh, I got it to hold. But definitely, I feel like with a bunch of feet movement down there, it will need to uh, have some more on there. But other than that, it's looking really good. So again, you're gonna come over here. This is the battery disconnect. I don't know if people are just jumping videos, but this is the wireless battery disconnect. It's the same thing as that big old red switch that you turn off and take the key out. So you just press on, come over here. We have 
his wireless receiver hidden. Wait for that to beep. Cycle through the ignitions, ignition one, ignition two, and we're gonna show you how the radio works. Should start. Yep. I'm standing on the phone, set the damn sale. EQ is working, wireless charger works, everything. Let me turn on the gauges. Yeah. So now his fuel pump, press the brake. Oh yeah, we also put his um, ignition button into the OEM ignition spot. We had to remove the cylinder, but other than that, everything came out great. So I'll start that. So that's pretty much it. I want to show you guys a little bit of clips, some bead roll of the car, because we're very, very happy with how it came out. We gave it a little wipe down as well. Couldn't leave it dusty like that. Oh, my back. But yeah, everything worked out. Car is coming out extremely clean. Um, I highly recommend to anyone who's not running our chassis harness to definitely run it. You can run anything you want on it. AC, electric power steering, anything you could think of on it, you know? But enjoy these clips. So that's going to be the end of that video for now. Um, still waiting on some more parts to button it up, but I'm trying to have multiple parts to the car, you know, on video just so that you guys can see everything. Um, other than that, everything is going very smooth. Just got to get the idle on the car perfected. Um, what else? Waiting on the downpipe, waiting on the harness bar with harnesses, waiting on a boost gauge so we can get that wired up as well. So thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one.